Yeah, AB marker, slip. So I explained blockchain as a, as a trust platform. In the internet, we connected everyone uh, around the globe. And with blockchain, we can actually um, uh, ensure that you are speaking to the right uh, person and, and that you are interacting with the right service, that the person that you are uh, interacting with has the history uh, they say they have, etc. Uh, so you can verify history, you can verify credentials, identity, assets, um, property, ownership. I was working on a, on an healthcare project to record patient-doctor conversations on the blockchain, and I saw the potential of of the technology to change the way we are working today uh, in the future, and be uh, what we call classically a disruption, but it's a positive uh, uh, disruption. It's actually an evolution, I think, more than a, a disruption. So, so yes, we are evolving, and uh, new technologies are evolving with with us, right? We have new ideas, there's new problems. Um, receiving a mail is not physical anymore. You, you receive your email di digitally, right? Uh, wherever you are, your, your location doesn't matter anymore. Being, being a, a citizen of the world, right? Uh, difference with legacy systems where you, you hold the card, you hold the, the identity, but you don't hold your data. If the system change, uh, you don't transport your data with you. With you. It stays locked into the system you were in. So I, I'm French, right? All my history of, of being a French citizen disappeared when I decided to move to the US. I had no, no financial uh, history. Impossible to prove uh, my history because the standards are, are different and one will trust a piece of paper that you are going to bring with, with you or even a phone number that you are going to, to give, for example. And so, so when I, I settled here, I, I was like a newborn, right? no credit score. When the world is itself uh, being uh, global, uh, you have to change the processes and bring new technologies. And, and blockchain actually solve uh, this because you connect people around the network, right? A global network, and Cardano is one. And then you can build the, those processes. You can organize uh, the work stream of, of people around business processes. We are building a network for the long term. We have an opinionated approach, right, about how you, you should design a robust platform that is going to support uh, the financial system of tomorrow, right? It's not a, a small objective. In order to, to build a, a network, you need to build it the, the right way from the get-go and uh, actually putting some time in, in designing it, not rushing, right? We aren't here to launch uh, one feature as fast as possible because the market is waiting for it. No, we are going to, wait, uh, to launch it when uh, it will be ready to be used securely. I would see Cardano as um, a part and component of a, of a global trust network, basically. Uh, blockchain being that layer of trust that is lacking in the internet, I think Cardano will be uh, a component of, of a major component of that uh, layer of trust. You, you establish trust by, by being uh, being real, I think. Uh, at IO, there's no, there's no BS, there's no bullshit, right? Uh, we, we have an opinion, we, we, we keep repeating the, the same thing. Uh, Charles uh, did that uh, over uh, years and years and, uh, and still saying the same thing to, to, to everyone. And uh, people can actually uh, judge us on what we, we deliver and how, how compliant it is to what was said, right? And uh, there are many evidence of, uh, of uh, that uh, that we are, we are a trustworthy uh, company doing a great contribution. I mean, we we are by the the, the biggest producer of, uh, of open source uh, code. Uh, the quality of the code is uh, is uh, is very good. Governments can can actually check uh, what we did and and, and prove uh, to themselves that we are a trustworthy uh, partner for for integrating technology. I feel sometimes our, our industry, the crypto industry, is a, a bit combative, right? We, we have to win over X, right? We have to, to take uh, one, one more position in the, in the ranking. The ecosystem fear that uh, if some other networks is succeeding faster, that's a problem. That's not a problem. It will help you at the end. Because uh, globally, we are far from uh, having uh, convinced the world no? to use blockchain, right? How many countries integrate uh, 
Bitcoin, for example. We have to convince the world, right? So there's a place for everyone. Contributing is not enough. You need to set a, a tone. You need uh, to launch alliances. For example, we talk to, to, to the others. We actually propose things. Because if you take the initiative of establishing a communication, that will be um, profitable for both, uh, both sides. So the next step is definitely interoperability and creating bridges between networks. Because it's the nature of the network is to grow and it's to connect uh, people, uh, things, and, and other networks, other people. To, in order to grow, you have to connect things. When uh, we, we talk about, um, you know, working on, on the main, main concept of, of adoption, like where, where do you go, who, who do you have to, to convince, right? It's, uh, it's a difficult task, I think, uh, to pioneer this, uh, this industry. And we're still in the pioneer age. Like, people are thinking that we, we are arrived, we, we aren't. Uh, if, if we have to co convince the world to use blockchain, like, uh, uh, we have to do so much work. Like, it will take uh, some time uh, to convince governments to use it uh, to create you know, currencies, but also to express international standards and, and uh, the, the regulation to, to catch up also, um, the, 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 the law to, to, to catch up. Why? Because the law is here to organize uh, business processes to, to uh, protect people. Um, and, and you need to be protected uh, in, a, in a global economy. We have a, a lot of work in terms of uh, uh, working on specific verticals, identifying those verticals and uh, where they are, uh, and, and working with uh, the, I mean, the, the users that, or the, the adopters that, who actually need, uh, need it the most. Working with the developing world is, uh, for, for Cardano is, uh, is, uh, is an amazing opportunity because there's um, many things to, to improve, many systems to put uh, uh, in, in place, and we have the chance to actually design those uh, systems and our mechanism with uh, those uh, uh, emerging uh, economies uh, uh, the right way at the start and not trying to bridge an existing legacy system that is uh, here for you know, uh, decades and bridge it to, to it's, a, it's a different work, right? So it's an amazing opportunity, and, and I think blockchain uh, uh, in the next uh, few months or, or years will, uh, will develop uh, rapidly uh, in, uh, in emerging uh, economies. There's a mix of, uh, of rigor, creativity, because we, we are a very creative company where we, we have uh, hundreds of uh, ideas uh, per month, and you have to select uh, the ideas with the, the, the most uh, potential. And you have uh, the ambition of uh, delivering something. Um, and, and that's uh, very interesting to, to be part of this and trying to, to achieve that, uh, that goal. Uh, the objective of Cardano in, uh, for 2025 is to reach a billion users. So users can be people or, or devices, but uh, that's, uh, that's the goal, it's an ambitious goal. The, the bar is really high, right? And uh, the fact that people are keep pushing with the vision and, and uh, delivering what uh, what is expected is uh, is amazing. It's a, it's a process, right? It's not it's not easy. <laughs>